So, imagine this. You saved a crap ton of money and bought a OnePlus phone. You've probably done that because of the never settle thing. Or... The ColorOS update. But just ignoring that, you're an epic gamer. And what epic gamers are for, you might ask? Fortnite. Yeah, that's shit. So you open Fortnite on your OnePlus device, which has like a 120Hz LTPO screen with a Snapdragon 888, Agent 1 and so on. And what do you see? Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? Yeah, so believe me, this time is not Epic's fault. Yeah, it's kinda OnePlus that messed up. And why do I know this? Well, if I enable developer settings and scroll down to show the refresh rate and enable it, we can see that the screen refreshes from 120Hz to 60Hz while opening Fortnite. And now if you try to exit the game like this, you'll see that the phone gets through the 90Hz, which should remain, but it goes back to 60Hz. So the system doesn't allow Fortnite to run more than 60fps. Now let's fix that. Hello everyone, my name is Razvan Rux and today we're going to fix this stupid 90 FPS that doesn't work. Keep in mind that this fix is only for OnePlus phones, but if you wanna try on other brand's phone, keep in mind that doing this at your own risk. So, let's begin. Keep in mind that we will discuss about two different things, which are FPS and Hertz. FPS are the actual frames you get in game and the hertz are the measuring unit for the actual screen refresh rate. Also, this will work if you have the 90 FPS setting in the game. So this tutorial will only work for these devices shown on screen right now. So the first thing you gotta do is to go to Play Store and install SetEdit. Keep in mind that this is a very powerful software, which can harm your device if you're not careful. But I'm counting on you that you'll follow my advice very carefully. After you've installed it, you need to open it. You have to create three new settings called Peak Refresh Rate, User Refresh Rate and Min Refresh Rate. Each one needs to have the value 1. Now we can watch how I do it. After you've done that, you can open Fortnite and reset the configurations by going into graphics settings, switching to 60 FPS, applying, then going back to 90 FPS. I'll go on a creative map so I can have the maximum FPS, since in game you don't really get 90 FPS due to a large amount of props and stuff. What you might have to do is to quit Fortnite and re-enter again, like I do. As you can see, I've done this while I had my refresh rate shown, so you can see it that now the system allows Fortnite to run on 90 FPS. And would you look at that? So there you have it. So now that you have 90 FPS, I'd like you to tell a few things to keep in mind. The first thing is that you have to do these settings every time you reboot your OnePlus phone, but only if you reboot it or you install a system update. I might add here that while I was trying to screen record this footage, I had to do the settings again because it didn't work for some reason. So let's just keep it to um, do the settings every time you want to play Fortnite. This way, you know, it will work. Another thing is that it might not work if you have less than 30% brightness. I mean, it was kind of inconsistent to me. The LTPO technology will still work as usual, lowering your refresh rate depending on the thing you do on screen. We've only allowed the system to give more than 60 Hz to Fortnite, but not only Fortnite, other apps as well. So you might get 120 Hz in other webs. Now that you can play at 90 FPS, go full sweaty mode and make sure you make some kids uninstall this game. Have a good one!